This is Michael Pick for Master New Media and we're looking today at Zoho Projects, released this morning in beta. So our first mission is to add a new user by clicking here, which will open up this dialog. You enter their email obviously on the top bar, decide what their role is within the company by clicking here, assign them to the project you want them to work on, and with add user, bada boom, they will be added to the people view, which you can see here, ready to be assigned tasks. So your new user is good to go, so we go up to tasks and milestones tab up here and this will give you your task list. Add a task is as simple as clicking here and entering whatever it is you want your new user to actually do. In this case adding new task is being added as a generic title. Decide who's in charge of that project, here's our new user. And there are also advanced options, you can add a start date, a priority, how long you want the project to last or a percent completed. Add task puts that onto our list, hide the uh, options away and close it down and you can now reorder, you can decide if that goes up to the top or in the middle. Simply click on it and drag it to where you want it to go. In this case it goes up to the top, maybe a high priority task and save the order and that's locked in. When you finish the tasks all you have to do is click the checkbox and that will appear down in the completed section below. These can also be removed when you've finished everything uh, by clicking on the little red cross you see on the left here and that will delete them. Now another way of adding tasks is through the calendar view. You can actually add them directly into the calendar by clicking on this green box here. Uh, type in your task and you have all of the same options that you'd have in the tasks and milestones dialog box which is really nice. Obviously same deal, click on add task and it will appear now on that particular day. Hover over anything and it will actually give you the full details of it. If we click on it, it now gives us the actual title within the calendar, which is a nice little feature. If we go up here to all milestones, this will show you a nice graphical view of the project you've got going and how long they're going to last. Um, each different project is individually color coded and as you can see if you hover over the project it will give you the details of the start date, the end date and uh, let you know other details about the project which is very nice. Over here you have the meetings tab which if you click on will tell you about any upcoming meetings that are due and when they're going to happen, the elapsed meetings and when they actually happened. Documents allows you to share files with people you're working with and each file has a version number which is very very useful. Whenever you upload a file which you just do straight from your browser, in this case this is on a Mac, uh, you just simply upload the file and you can tell people exactly what changes you've just made to the project that you've been working on. Upload the document and it will now appear as version 1.2 the latest version which automatically goes to the top and if we go back to the documents that's the one that's going to appear on the front page. Great for avoiding confusion. Funnily enough the timesheet is where we keep a log of all of the hours spent on the project. You simply put log time and decide which task it is and enter the hours spent on that task. You can leave a note and then add it to the timesheet and it will not only uh, appear in the appropriate place but also change the total. This can be viewed in a list format which is nice and printable um, as an alternative way of looking at the information. Hopping over to the dashboard you can now see all of the tasks that have been completed in a particular time frame will appear on the latest project activity. This is a great way for people to know exactly where things are, uh, exactly what's just been done when they come and join a session. So that's a very nice feature and that's right on the front page, it's the first thing you see. If we click over on the settings, there's quite a lot of settings you can change, uh, including the company settings. You can decide that the company's name, the web address, the time zone within which you're working, uh, and if there's a particular URL portal that you want to assign also. These are all quite nice features. other thing that's worth mentioning is you can change the company logo. You don't have to have Zoho Projects. Put your own logo um, from your desktop and that will upload it to the um, server. You now have that logo up there on the top left so it's what everyone's going to see throughout the project. 
Finally, if you log out, when you come back in, you'll also see that the company logo is there as well. There's no mention that you're using Zoho Projects, which is nice. I think it's great that they've allowed you to customize that. So there you go, well worth checking out if you have any project management needs at all.